Hi Leo, welcome to your March You versus Them Love Tower readings. So Leo, we're looking at you in your person and looking at each of your energies and see what's going on, how you're both feeling, what's, you know, about the connection, each other, and we're going to see what you need to know. Leo. So I will be doing um, two separate spreads. Leo, I'll be putting you here, your person here. Feel free to switch the energies anytime you feel the need to. We have the Whispers of Love Oracle here, so we're going to get a couple opening messages for each side. Then I have two separate tarot decks. I have the uh, Mystic Dreamer and the Spellcasters. So we'll get um, your readings with that. And then we have another oracle, the Answer is Simple Oracle, for extra messages at the end. So welcome in, Leo. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Now keep in mind, Leo, if you find this isn't resonating or you're not interested, whatever the case may be, totally fine. You can leave it for someone else. You can also check out other readings um, on my channel if you would like to. Uh, that is totally fine, but if you're new or returning, welcome in. Thank you, thank you. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, Leo, so let's see. We're going to look at your energy first, and like I said, you could switch the energy at any time. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. We have 13, which is 4, stability and foundation. So we're going to put all these out first, and then we'll see what's going on. Slow, simple acts of, oh, slow, oh my God. Not even have my glasses on. Show, simple, I'm like, that don't make sense. Show, simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Five, which is change. Hmm, miracles and blessings and acts of kindness. Okay, on their side, we have physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. And we have 47, which is 11. You wouldn't reduce that. Double numbers you don't reduce. And ones are about new beginnings. Spend some quality time together. 46, 10, which could be full circle, new beginnings. It is important, it's imperative that we spend some quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So, I feel like, Leo, that you um, you showed a lot of kindness to this person in some way, shape, or form. And uh, I, I definitely feel like, and I get this so much for you, Leo, it either was a missed opportunity or it was the wrong time or something like that. So maybe you felt like even though you may have showed this person you cared, you, you know, you did things for this person, uh, just being there, being supportive, whatever that means, and you felt like it would be a miracle and a blessing if this would connection would ever come together and now this person is like okay Leo I think I want to spend some quality time with you to get to know you and this could be about actually being physical with this person I don't mean like in the sack it could mean you know maybe you never held hands with this person never maybe you never kissed this person maybe you never hugged this person um like any of those things and they could be thinking about that like really getting to know you like maybe even dating maybe some of you never dated this person Wow, okay, Leo. Boy, I get this like, Leo, for since I've been doing my channel, I think I've been getting this, you know, and people may say, yeah, but nothing ever happens. Well, it could be that at the time I'm reading this, the energies are here for this maybe to happen because maybe this person is thinking about this, but them actually taking action on their thoughts is a whole different, you know, subject. So that can always change, you know, tomorrow it could be a different story. So. You know, people that don't understand tarot really have to keep that in mind. But anyway, Leo, so we got the Mystic Dreamer here for you. So we're going to pull about nine cards, and then we'll get more clarifiers from the um, top and the bottom of the deck. All right. For Leo, let's see. Leo, let's see. The Lovers in Reverse. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. The Fool. The King of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see. The Knight of Wands. That could be you, Leo. That's not really my Leo card, but definitely could be you. The Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. 
So I have two um, energies here of a possible divorce. So maybe you were divorced or getting divorced maybe during the time this connection happened. King of Swords upright, King and Queen of Swords is like my divorced couple of the deck. And then the King and Queen of Pentacles like my married couple of the deck. But when I get those reversed, that's like my divorced couple of the deck. So some of you, Leo, could have been, um, oh my God, I got an inchy palm, whatever that means. Um, could have been married or going through a divorce uh, or were just had just gotten divorced right when this connection happened because I have all indicators of that. King of Cups like falling in love, but maybe, you know, maybe if you were still with a person, but you were in the process of getting divorced or thinking about divorce and then maybe you fell in love with this person and said, okay, you know, if I was truly happy in my current situation, I had no way I'd be falling for another person. And maybe that gave you the push to leave a situation you weren't happy in anyway. I mean, we do have the lovers in reverse, um, which also is telling me that maybe you never made that connection with this person either. Like you never were a couple, you never dated, nothing like that. But there were feelings here, King of Cups, and they were hidden. So maybe you didn't let a lot of people know how you were feeling about this person either, especially if you were going through something. And the Fool is like a uh, fresh, clean slate, energetic reset, a new beginning or maybe just doing something without really thinking. So maybe you went and told this person how you felt, even if you were in another situation or you were getting out of it or just ending it or something like that. Nine of Cups, though, is a single energy for me. I mean, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles for me are both single cards because the Nine of Cups, somebody is alone here, single, free, fulfilling their own wishes, you know, making, doing whatever they wish, making themselves happy indulging, you know, or whatever. So those are kind of like my two single cards. So I do have a single energy here. You could be single now. Um, so this could have been in the past, but I'm feeling like now something could be changing. Seven of Wands. So you could have felt like here you were met, met with a little block or wall by this person as well. But the Knight of Wands, I feel like you took action on something. I feel like you just felt like I have to do this. I have to Tell this person how I feel. I realize now I have to get out of this situation because I wasn't happy anyway. And just a lot of, uh, I know what I need to do. And taking action on that. So that's what I feel like here with the Knight of Wands. Very, very action orientated. Like, it's like you finally figured it out. Like, I, I knew I wasn't happy in my situation anyway. Now I finally want to get out of it. And also I've developed feelings for somebody. So that maybe gave you the push. So we do have here um, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Sag, or that could be Leo and Capricorn. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups, there's that romantic gesture, you know, maybe the revealing of feelings as well. Ace of Swords in reverse. I think there had been a long time for you, Leo, where you weren't honest with yourself about your current situation. And I definitely feel like meeting this person kind of woke you up in a way. Again, the Page of Swords reverse is kind of uh, saying the same thing. It may, you know, if you've been in no contact with this person, um, maybe things may be about to change. Or you are in no contact with this person as well with the Page of Swords reverse. Hangman. So this is a temporary uh, pause. You know, things have been still for a while here. That's definitely, though, enlightenment. And then taking action. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is like the Knight of Swords upright, where things could be uh, changing quickly here. And the Six of Wands reversed. Hmm. Six of Wands reversed. Three of Cups reversed. So definitely, I feel like you never dated this person in the past. I think you were hoping you know, uh, for, you know, getting out of a situation and then getting right into either dating or connecting with this person. And I feel like that definitely didn't happen. Death, I feel like you definitely ended things in your life. Um, let's see, Hermit. But we do have a single energy here. So I definitely feel like you are single right now. That is for sure in the moon. But you're not quite sure what's going to happen now with this connection. But you still have feelings uh, for this person, the Queen of Cups. And we do have a match here, King Queen of Cups. There still could be a lot of hidden feelings here between the two of you. I'm just saying. All right. So let's see um, what's going on with this person. 
So we got the Spellcaster's Tarot here. We're going to see what's going on. <clears throat> if it's re uh, resonating so far, Leo, please leave me a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. A boop. All that great stuff be greatly, greatly appreciated. So, Leo, I have been thinking about posting back on my other channel again. If you did not know, I was posting on my second channel. Link is um, on my main page. Um, I'll probably put it down in the description box, too. Uh, I'll probably be posting over there again soon, all Leo um, readings. So, I may be putting a poll up either on this channel or that channel. I'll probably both on what kind of readings you would like to see over there. I haven't posted over there in quite a while. Um, so I want to try to make time, but I may do just timeless readings. I was posting every day over there, a different reading every day, but I don't know if I'll have time for that. But I may, you know, two, three times a week uh, post something. But I was thinking about just doing like general timeless readings, whatever comes out. So look for polls uh, soon and we'll see. All right. So let's see what's going on with this person. Oh, Temperance. Okay. The Eight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Wow. So you both have the Nine of Cups almost landed in the same exact spot. That is crazy. Nine of Swords, which you both have that. Nine of Cups and Nine of Swords. Um... We did see the knight. Do we see the knight of cups? No, we saw the page on your side. Okay. Four of swords on their side. <clears throat> Queen of pentacles. You got that too, but yours is in reverse. Knight of swords, which is kind of like the knight of pentacles in reverse, which you had up there. And the page of cups, which you have over here. Wow, a lot of repeating cards here, Leo. Which is telling me, I think the energy is just about to start lining up for you and this person. Um, I do feel, um, you know, this person did feel some sort of connection to you. You know, soulmate alignment, patience, healing, balance, uh, past lives, soul contracts, peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. Things, you know, divine, that's divine alchemy. Eight of Cups, so there could have been, you know, maybe they kept themselves at a distance here, but they could be... You know, getting ready to reach out here, Leo. You know, let's court, date, get to know, romantic gestures. You know, I'm ready to do this. I think maybe they had to go through a period of healing, rest, recovery. So maybe they were going through something as well. But, I mean, we have... A lot of the nines are kind of like single energy for me in the tarot. Um, Nine of Cups, again, kind of like that single energy, but they're a little stressed or nervous or worried. Like, hmm, I, I wonder if I should reach out to Leo. I wonder... What's going on for Leo? Could there be a chance? I'm a little nervous to do that. Or maybe at the time you met them, you know, if you both had something going on, they were maybe a little too nervous, you know, to jump back into a new relationship or a new connection. But they definitely see you as somebody stable, grounded, secure, a go-getter, maybe making your own money, being very independent, a loyal, trustworthy kind of person, hard worker. Night of Swords. So it could be maybe this connection happened very quickly out of the blue. was very unexpected um, for them. But that could be the energy, look at that, of wanting to rush in and explore this connection with you because we do have the Page of Cups again, which could be, you know, the romantic gesture, maybe even apology, that maybe they avoided you, the connection, or denied their feelings. <clears throat> they don't have any reversals here. Interesting. So we have, we're in Pisces season right now, which we have um, Hangman over here is Pisces, Page of Cups is Pisces, King of Cups is Pisces. So let's see, we have Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, uh, Scorpio, Sag. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Emperor, a divine counterpart here. Oh boy. Masculine energy, three swords reverse. If they're going through anything disappointing or heartbreaking, they're over that. Ten of Pentacles could have been a marriage, you know, or something like that. Uh, Ten of Pentacles here, a commitment or a marriage or something here they were, were committed to. It may have been a very long situation. I definitely feel like they have the Six of Wands now, which you had um, in reverse over there, I believe. But yeah, right there, they have it upright which they're feeling really good and confident right now. Yeah, they've been through an ending too here with the death card. So, so many repeating cards here at Leo that 
maybe you were both experiencing things at the same time, but I'm feeling like they feel like now is a time when things could align here between the two of you. Six of Wands, they're feeling very good, confident, successful. Death, there's been an ending for them too. That's transformation, new beginnings. So we also have Aries. We're going into Aries season right after Pisces. So something could be happening during Aries season. Um, and Scorpio. Let's see. Judgment in reverse, which they could have done that healing, forgiving, releasing that they've needed to do. Also, um, they made up their mind. They made a decision of what they want. I feel like there's no resurrection of the past either, not with the judgment in reverse. I'll look at this. They got the seven of wands, which you have right there. So, yeah, they know they put up a wall here. We're maybe a little defensive, but they had some healing to do. But this is wish fulfillment, happiness, joy, balance, um, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, healing. Nine of wands. Yeah, they've been through it too, wounded warrior here. But look, they've done so much healing here, and now they're feeling like there's something divinely guided here. So they could be making a decision with the Two of Swords to send out some sort of offer, communication, offer, a drink, a coffee, a date, or something like that. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you worked with this person at one time. It doesn't have to be. They could have been a boss, a leader, business owner, or something like that, as well with the Emperor energy. Seven of Swords in reverse. So not coming from a bad place. So where they were avoiding before, I feel like they're having a change of heart now. And they could come rushing in, being determined here with the Knight of Wands, which is Sag energy again. And then we've got the Queen of Wands, which is Eerie Season. So something definitely could be happening during Eerie Season, I feel here, uh, Leo. Maybe finally, after all this time, maybe even years for some of you. We've got Scorpio energy here. Again, I mean, for some of you, this could be like four years. I'm getting, I don't know, because I'm, I'm looking at the Emperor here, which is four. For some of you, this could be like at least uh, four to six years, maybe. This connection started for you. You know, maybe you went on with your life, you did your thing, but you know, okay. <clears throat> Leo, okay, so I see they want to spend some quality time together, so that could be a shocking surprise. Leo, everything you need to know is down below. We're going to get some extra messages with this. This is the answer is simple. A few on your side, a few on their side. Uh, for everything you need to know, check the description box below. I also have a website. You can check that out. Everything you absolutely need to know is on that website. All right, let's see. All the links you need, socials, merch, uh, shopping for yourself. If you want to send me a gift or... Um, Whatever the case may be, if you want a gift or tip, let's see. For you, you have connect with your soul family, 20, which is two, partnership unity. So you definitely fe feel like they're part of your soul tribe. Get over yourself, one. It's about a new beginning. So I definitely feel like you've gotten over things um, as well. Kind of mirror imaging here. So stop 34-7. Divinely got its spiritual energy. You know, you could have been a little obsessed with this connection and then maybe you've, you felt, okay, I'm just going to get over myself because maybe you were so in inside yourself feeling like, okay, this is something that I need to make happen. It's meant to be. I just know it, which is nothing wrong with that, but not being obsessive about it. So maybe you finally got over that insecurity of, oh my God, it's never going to happen. And you're like, okay, I'm just going to stop, give it up, connect with my soul family and tribe. I know they're part of my soul family and tribe. Whatever's meant to be will happen, and I'm just going to let it be. So I kind of feel that as well. But let's see what we have on their side. Dare to be happy. 26 is 8. Travel, action, communication, putting in the work. Two people being very happy. So I feel like if they've been single for a while here, <clears throat> um, you know, maybe they're like, you know, do I want to explore this, you know? Let go and flow. We have 27, which is 9. So we have 8, 9, which is progression. 9, almost full circle, new beginnings, the rainbow, luck, expansion, growth. Let go and flow. So just, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Go with the flow. And whatever happens, happens. 
and look forward. 41.5, which has changed. This person's changed a lot. Whatever they left in the past and leaving in the past. And they're definitely just looking forward to their future. And that could be making you part of it, Leo. And decide the outcome. 47, which is 11. So I feel like this person, you both know that there has to be a decision here. Maybe someone needs to reach out or whatever the case may be. Um, that definitely could be about legal proceedings. So deciding one's own fate, like I described with you, Leo, and maybe they were going through things. And that kind of gives me um, judicial vibes. So, you know, maybe you both been through a divorce, whatever the case may be. And that's kind of like law and order as well. Like, you know, you both can decide. Let's, let, ex let us explore this and see where it can go. Definitely here. Right, Leo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I'm wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.